With current captain Dyson Heppel approaching the final years of his career, it's time for us fans and Essendon as a club to look to the future and decide on who they want to be captaining the club in 2023 and beyond. So today's video is a very quick assessment of the leadership group and a delve into the current Bombers who can take the captaincy role in 2023. The most obvious choice would be for Dyson Heppel to retain his captaincy until his retirement or for at least another season. I think it's safe to say that Heppel as a player is not close to what he used to be. The guy was genuinely one of the best on balls in the comp before the supplement scandal ban, having won the Crichton in 2014 and been awarded All-Australian in that same year. He was given the role of captain in 2017, the year after he and other banned players came back to the club, and from that moment on it was clear that he was not just a fine player but a terrific leader as well. His leadership abilities are what makes him so important to the team still. Even last season, a year with so few highs, showed example of Heppel being the selfless team first captain that he is, whether it be his media face or his stirring pre-game speeches caught on live TV. Heppel has led the Bombers 91 times. He is by far and away our best choice if he manages to regain some form, but it's hard to justify having a captain in the team who isn't best 22 material, and at stages last year, Heppel was closer to VFL footy than AFL. I still back him as captain, at least for one more year, or maybe the Don's take a modern approach and nominate co-captains. A good option for the co-captaincy role, or just a sole captaincy role even, would be a man that has already led the club on a few occasions, Zach Merritt. Last year was a really important year for Merritt's development. He had to do a lot of midfield work as results went against him, but he, like Heppel, also faced the media at the worst of times and did so impressively. It was actually really great to see how mature Merritt has become. For a while, it seemed as if he was just an elite player and his leadership group features were due to that reason, but now, Merritt, last year's vice captain, is one of the most reliable figureheads both through his own performance and through his now mature demeanour. Many believe Merritt to be the future captain of the club. He clearly has a good young head on his strong shoulders. He carries a lot of the pressure of being at a big club like Essendon on his own back and it rarely affects his performance. Realistically, it's between Merritt and Heppel for the role, but there is another player who should be mentioned as well. From the minute Andy McGrath stepped foot at the hangar, he was viewed as a potential captain of the club. The guy is that headstrong. He was mature mature at 18 years old, leading the back line at times, and his time off the field with injury problems has only made him stronger as a teammate. He is still a bit too young to lead a team on his own. He's only 24, and the Bombers who are already young are in need of an older captain, one that can take players under their wing, like Heppel did for McGrath. McGrath was the deputy vice captain last year though, meaning he was the third highest ranked leader at the club at the age of 23, showing just how mentally fit for the role he is. I think if Heppel is stood down as captain, McGrath becomes vice captain or co-captain with merit, but there is not a world that I can see that has McGrath acting as the sole captain of the club. It should also be noted that Andy may be returning to his preferred halfback role, which will not only see a new line of the match day team improved with leadership, but a rejuvenated McGrath hopefully returning to his best form. Now before this quick video ends, I will highlight a few more players that I don't think could captain the club, but could join the leadership group alongside Merritt, McGrath and Heppel. Midfielder Dylan Shield was already a member of the club's leadership group back in 2020, just a year after he joined the team, and although he was removed in 2021, and 2022, he could be on his way back if the club opt to grow the amount of players used from last year's minuscule three. Key defender and inaugural McCracken medal winner Jaden Laverde is a no-brainer to come into the mix as well after his improvement as a player in recent seasons and his willingness to put his body on the line for his club. Another defender who deserves some recognition is the 25-year-old Mason Redmond, who is fresh off being named the most improved player and the best clubman a year after receiving the staff and trainers award as well. Redmond is one of the most popular squad members amongst players and staff staff, and if he stays in the red and black, will end his career on the leadership group without a doubt. Others include Jordan Ridley, Peter Wright, Darcy Parrish, and Sam Draper, but that is the end of the video. Those were the three possible Essendon captains and the players that may feature in the leadership group. Let me know if I missed anyone you think could be in the mix, and subscribe to see more videos like this.